Hey everybody, Ye Fixer here, and welcome to my channel update for the month of July. So June was a pretty slow month on several different levels. I don't think July is going to be any different, really. There's not, there's not a, a large amount of games coming out that I'm looking forward to, and I don't think August is going to be very much different. Completely different than we had at the beginning of the year, right? We had that streak from basically January through April of, of so many amazing games being released, but May wasn't wasn't too great. June, July, August, it's it's all dead and slow. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about in this video is the free game Friday that I do every Friday on Twitter, where I give away a, a Steam game that I've accumulated over the past few years. I have a bunch of keys that I'm not using, so I figured I'd give them away. I do this in the form of an image that I post to Twitter, and it happens varying times on Friday, sometimes in the morning, sometimes at night. That's to give everybody a chance of who are in different time zones. So I'll post an image, and I'll have a key on there, and I'll take out a couple of the digits of the key, and I'll replace them with question marks. That way, bots don't pick them up. And in the tweet, I'll, I'll tell you what to put in place of the question marks, and it's usually something related to the channel, something like it's abbreviation of a game on my channel, since, for instance, if I'm referring to like Blackwood Crossing, you would put BC in place of the question mark, something like that. Sometimes I'll just do like, you know, this is how many episodes are in one of my series on my channel, whatever. The simple step to make sure that bots don't pick it up. In fact, one of the keys you're looking at right now has not been redeemed, and it has question marks in it, and if you were to replace it with the amount of episodes I have in my Grim Fandango series, you'll be able to redeem the key and play it on Steam. So, if you've never re redeemed a key on Steam, uh, you open up your, your Steam browser, where, I don't know, sometimes, I think the default is it opens up to the store, some people have it open up to their profile. At the bottom left, there is a, a little spot called Add a Game. It's got a little plus mark next to it. You click on that. You click on Activate a Product on Steam. And you hit next, and you agree to their terms, and then there will be a little field that says product code, and that's where you type the key, and you hit next, and then your key is redeemed. Uh, nice and easy. I, I do use like an OCR font, um, that way it's easy to tell the difference between things like I's and ones and L's and things like that. So the font should be pretty easy to read. So if you want to take part in this, if you want a chance to win a game every single Friday, go ahead and follow me on Twitter. That is at FixerTV. All right, next uh, up on the agenda for this video is Twitch streaming. Over the past few months, many of you have asked if I, if I do any kind of streaming, and I have in the past. I have done things like TF2 and Overwatch. I've done um, Mountain Blade, Napoleonic Wars. That was a real fun one to stream. I've done it in the past. I haven't really done a whole lot lately, and... And as far as, as doing streaming goes, there's there's a few reasons for that. First off, to be successful at Twitch streaming, you have to have a schedule. You have to be able to say, I'll be on Twitch on these specific days at these specific times. And you've got to show up and you've got to perform. Every single successful Twitch streamer does this, with very few exceptions. They have schedules. People need to know that there are reliable schedules that they need to know you'll be there. If you say you'll be there, you'll be there. And I can't, I, I can't make that kind of commitment due to my health. I never know how well I'm going to feel. I can't tell you that I'm going to feel okay at 7 p.m. on Saturday. I can say I'll be there, but something could happen on Saturday and I just won't be able, I won't have the energy or something, whatever. I won't be able to do any kind of streaming. So I, I, I try not to schedule things on specific dates and specific times because I never know if I'll be able to live up to it. And what will happen is, is I will feel awful or whatever and I'll feel obligated to do it. And, and then my performance is low because of how terrible I feel because I don't want to let anyone down that I've scheduled whatever with. So I try not to schedule things. Alright, so the second reason why I, I don't do a whole lot of streaming is that when, when, when someone goes online on Twitch, it's usually expected of them that they're playing for a few hours, right? Um, and that's kind of the idea of um, general thought of streamers on Twitch is that you can't really build up any kind of audience unless you're streaming for at least two or three hours. So two to three hours, you, you hit that sweet spot where a few people accumulate 
and they start chatting with each other and, and they stick around. And if there are people who are active and chatting and sticking around, that accumulates more people, etc, etc, etc. And and you have to be doing that for two or three hours for that to happen. If you're cutting your stream off after two hours, you don't give yourself a chance to build any kind of viewership. So it's very common for streams to be four, five, eight hours long. And with me, that's not really possible. I Right now, my gaming sessions are usually tops two hours, but they're generally about one hour. Um, there was a time not too long ago where I could record four or five episodes in a series in one city, but that hasn't really been the case in, in the past um, couple months. I've been recording one or two episodes at a time. So if I were to stream, I, I the, that five hour mark that seems to be about the sweet spot, the four to five hour mark, I don't think I could hit that. So those are those are the two primary reasons why I, I don't stream on a regular basis. So Twitch has been improving, um, specifically with, with features, because in the past they've had um, inconsistent policies with, with in regards to small streamers versus big streamers. There's been favoritism. Um, large streamers can get away with lots of things that they'll ban small streamers for. And it really bothers me when, when small-time streamers and YouTubers get shit on. And I've always hated the, the delay that they have. Um, of the streaming companies, they have the largest delay going from your computer to the your viewers on, on the stream. And that has actually gotten worse in time. But over time, they have been adding some things that are, are friendly to the small streamer. Um, they've been adding some features that are friendly to the small streamer. So they've been making it hard to say no. They've been making it hard to ignore. And and I'm considering it, and I know I've considered it in the past, and those two reasons are usually the reasons that kill the idea. And they still might, but um, I'm just letting you know that I'm, eh, I'm considering it. Maybe pick one of the days out of the week and, and maybe stream at 7 p.m. on that day every, every week. I don't know. I'm considering it though. Okay, so let's um, jump over to the channel and the series on my channel. Let's talk about them a little bit. I think it's probably best to start with Outlast 2 because I haven't updated that one in a while and there are multiple reasons for that. Um, uh, I got I got pretty sick for a little while and I couldn't record. And then Molly, because I record that, that game with Molly, she got busy. Her she works for a game company, and they released the game, so she couldn't. She didn't have a whole lot of time to record while that was going on. Obviously, crunch time happens, and you know, release time. Everybody's going crazy, so we had that to contend with. And and after that, you know, I was still not feeling too well. She also went to E3. She went to um, oh god, she went to another gaming event. I don't remember what it was. Anyways. She's been pretty busy. The series is not cancelled, actually. And as soon as she gets time, and, and she's at another gaming event right now even, so the, there's been three of them since the last time we've recorded. So as soon as she gets back from that, and has time, Outlast 2 will start up again. So my apologies for it being a while uh, for those of you who are enjoying that series. It will be back though. Undertale is still, is still going. Um, I, I feel like I'm near the end, and I had a couple instances where I had to do a lot of grinding, and I very much did not enjoy grinding in that game, um, to the point that I was I was loathing having to load up and, and grind some money. But um, Undertale will be over fairly soon, I think. I've been loving it. It's a fun game. It's quite strange, and uh, I like strange. So um, if you like strange, go check out Undertale. Rakuen, I've completed... But not all the episodes have gone up yet. Um, I don't remember when the last episode goes up. Either today, and today should be Saturday. It's either today or tomorrow. I don't remember exactly which. But it's very soon, guys. You'll see the end of that. It was a cute game. If you liked To the Moon, you'll like Raccoon. It's pretty much as simple as that. So if, if you haven't watched it yet, go check it out if you like cute games. Still working on Perception. I feel like I'm more than halfway done with that game. I, if I remember correctly, there are four chapters, and I'm on chapter three. And um, I, although I don't know how long chapter three is, because chapter two was was quite short. Anyways, that one should be over in the next week or so as well. If you if you um, it's the game is probably too long in my opinion. It's it's a really nifty idea on having a blind protagonist, 
and she pokes her cane around and you can kind of see the world through echolocation. It's um really well done too. I mean very well done. But the story uh, kind of all over the place and it's got the typical you go from point A to point B and you read a note and that gives you part of the story or there's like an audio recording just laying around and you listen to that and it feeds you a part of the story and that kind of stuff has, has gotten old to me, you know? And I think it's gotten old to a lot of people. So the game's not perfect, but um, it's got a really amazing idea with the echolocation and it's really well done. So if you want to see something different in that aspect, then go check out Perception. And that's it for, for current series. As far as series that ended, because I didn't do a whole lot of videos in the month of June, um, not many series have ended. I'm, in fact, I'm looking at my page right now. It looks like Kindergarten is the only one that technically ended in June. But as far as I know, that was the only that was the only game that ended in June. So as far as new games um, coming out in July, I don't have anything specific on my radar. I have a few games that may drop in July, but we don't know yet. No release date type of thing. It's just a, you know, soon TM. So I don't know. So I'm probably going to hit up one or two older games. I got Domina in the Steam sale. It's the only game I bought so far in the Steam sale. It's five bucks. And, and I've already played a little bit of it, in fact. And I think I want to put that on the channel. It'll be probably a short series. I don't know how long, maybe five or six episodes. It's not a very long game. So I'll probably put that on the channel soon. I was going to record it this weekend. I don't know if I'm going to have the time to do that, but I'm going to try to anyways. And there's another game that I picked up a few weeks back. Um, came out last year, I think it was. I wanted to do it. I'm not going to say what it is, because I don't want to make a promise yet. But if all, all things go well, I'll probably record that uh, sometime mid-next week. So, um, I'm not going to make a promise until I actually record it, just in case something else drops and um, pushes that game back a little bit. So, um, Domina is the closest thing to a guarantee I can give you. And if I do record it this weekend, you can probably see it go up on Monday or Tuesday. And in Domino, before I move on, there are gladiators that I can rename. So if you guys want your name on a gladiator, then post it below and, um, and I'll put you in there. And be warned, you'll probably die. These guys die quite frequently and they die pretty horrible deaths. So if you would like to die a horrible death, then post your name below and I'll throw you in on Domino. And I guess that's all I have on my agenda for the month of July. Uh, well, um, I've been watching a lot of streams over the past couple months. And I've been basically taking a look like, at, at people, how they handle their streams. I've been looking at their discords to see how they handle those. I've been doing a lot of research on streaming in case I do want to take it more seriously. So I've been watching um, a variety of streamers, guys like Seagull and, and Overwatch and things like that. And some of you may or may not be aware, but um, RP streams have kind of exploded in the past two months. And, and RP means roleplay, so so people who are roleplaying characters in, in specific games. And that's been that's not new. That's been around for quite a long time, specifically in in games like Gary's Mod and Arma, those were pretty, two pretty popular roleplay games, but um, in Grand Theft Auto V has seen the explosion due to a, a few specific streamers that kind of made it popular and everybody kind of jumped on board. A lot of um, more popular guys ended up on the same server, so that server got popular, which made more people popular, and thus the, the RP explosion that's happened in the past two months. And I, I've considered jumping in myself because I've done some of that stuff in, in the distant past a long time ago. So I've considered jumping in on myself and giving it a shot. I don't know. I don't know if it's something I can do. But if you guys have been watching any of those streamers, um, let me know down below who you've been watching. I'm quite curious to see. And if you don't know what this stuff is, I'll put some some streamers um, in probably in the comments below or in the description or both, whatever. So you guys can go check it out yourselves and, and see if that's something that you would dig. And in case you're, you're still not sure what exactly it is, they tend to do it in, in Grand Theft Auto V. And it's on a, a dedicated server and the server's modded. So there's special things they can and, and cannot do to kind of help with it. 
So these people log in and they build these characters that have a personality and they have goals and things like that. And they interact with other players within the character. They role play. And it's all it's all improv, right? There's nothing that's really planned, and it's all improv. And and I'm finding it interesting watching it and, and seeing how people are invested in these streamers. And it's completely nuts at how big this is getting. And I feel like it's 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 not too dissimilar actually from like player unknown battlegrounds. They they have this uh, uh they both behave in the same way in that there can be kind of like a, a long crawl, like a slow build of gameplay, and then suddenly shit gets crazy. And it gets crazy for maybe just two minutes, maybe for ten minutes or whatever, and then it goes back to another slow build. And people love that. And people are happily sitting through the slow build to get the payoff. And and it's, it's it seems strange to me that these roleplay streamers are the same as these PUBG streamers, even though the game and the content is completely different. So I've been enjoying um, watching some of that and seeing how it grows and, and, and whatnot. So anyways, let me know if you watch any of those guys, any of those role players, and I'll post some, some names down there so you guys can check it out if you've never heard of it. But it's gotten quite big and it's probably going to get even bigger soon. And I think that's it for the month of July. Um, Again, it's going to be a slow month, um, probably going to be the same as what June was. I'll get videos out as much as I can. I'm not I'm not feeling fantastic, so can't make any promises, but um, I'll get them up as much as I can. Thanks for all your support, everybody. I really appreciate it, and we'll see you in August. Thanks for watching. We'll see you. Bye-bye.